Hey, what is up? Hello, you beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be recording one of my most highly requested videos, which is an Alfleet Try On Haul review. Today, we are going to be reviewing the items launching tomorrow, Saturday, the 12th at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. I'm super excited to review these items. These are my favorite items to date of all the Alfleet women's items. They are freaking beautiful, flawless. So excited but I will throw my measurements and sizing details in the description box below for your reference and let's get started all right so first things first we are gonna be talking about my ride or die leggings my favorite leggings in the entire world I literally live in these babies these are the revival leggings they have them launching in four new colors tomorrow they have the taupe sage green, the light gray, and then their new blue shade that I'm currently wearing. This is my personal favorite color. Very pretty. I love it. But we are going to start out by talking about the material. The material on these is extremely soft and stretchy, very supportive. It is also sweat resistant. You won't have any sweat spots or anything while you're working out, which is always nice. Um, they also have these nice little like contour details to accentuate the glutes, quads, and calves, which is very flattering, very nice. These are also a mid-rise slash high-rise waistline. Um, on me, they hit like just above my belly button, which is about where they're supposed to hit, but on some people, they hit just below the belly button, depending on the length of your torso. When it comes to sizing, these leggings are very supportive. They're on the tighter side, so depending on the fit and feel that you want, is the size you're going to want to get. So I prefer more of a tighter um, compressed fill so I usually stick with my normal size which is a size extra small. Um, if you wanted a more comfortable um, feel with like a little more give I'd recommend sizing up so I would size up to a small if I wanted more of a comfortable legging. But if I get leggings I want to be able to wear them on my most intense leg day but also wear them to bed. And now it is time to squash the beef. Okay, these leggings are said to have slight sheerness with the lighter colors, but depending on the size that you get, if you get the right size, there should be no sheerness at all. I am in a size extra small, which is the size I usually wear in leggings, and I'm going to do a squat test for y'all. There is absolutely no sheerness whatsoever, okay? So, there. No sheerness. Completely opaque. They are great. I think that rhymed a little bit. Cool. And now the other beef, the toe, the camel toe. Okay, so depending on how you wear these, it's gonna determine if you have a camel toe, okay? If you're pulling these up past where they're meant to sit naturally on your body, you are going to get a camel toe. You cannot blame it on the leggings because you are pulling them up your crotch, okay? Like, no. <laughs> I have been working out for six years and I want to say nine out of ten pairs of leggings I own give you a slight camel toe. You are a female. You have a vagina. Like, I don't understand. But these, okay, they do give a little camel toe if you pull them up. So on Instagram, you see girls, okay, they pull them up to about this point and surprise, you have a camel toe. You pull them down to where they're supposed to go, which is right at the small of your waist, it's gone. Okay, so depending on your preference of where you want to pull your leggings is going to determine on if you have a camel toe in these leggings. So don't blame it on the leggings themselves. As you move along. But anyways, guys, long story short, if, you size, if, you're, if you're worried about any sheerness or a camel toe problem, I'd recommend sizing up one size. If I were worried about it, I'd more than likely go up to a small. Just because when you're down in that full stretch position with the lighter colors, there is a chance of slight sheerness depending on the size of your glutes. Obviously, some girls are blessed by the glute gods with them nice round glutes, so they fit and do an extra small, but a small would prevent that little bit of sheerness. Same concept with the camel toe. If you're afraid of getting a camel toe, your leggings are more than likely too tight in that area, so if you size up a little bit, it decreases the odds of getting said camel toe. Alright, so now we're going to talk about some of my new favorites, which are the new cross match sets. Oh my god, these are so comfortable, beautiful, amazing in every way I've been living in them. Okay, so they're coming out in three colors tomorrow. We have the blue, which is the one I'm wearing right now. This gray color here with the black waistband, and then a black waistband. Like, so freaking cute. 
cute. They basically, okay, so why they're called the cross set is they have these little crosses on the bottom here. You can kind of see them on my cover. And then on the back of the sports bra, these cute little crosses. And I'm literally obsessed. So let's talk about material. The material is super soft, stretchy, comfortable as can be. It is not, however, as supportive as the Revival leggings. It also is not sweat resistant. Um, I personally love these to work out in. I've worn them several times to work out in already and I'm in love with them. They are so comfortable and they have just enough support to get you through your workout. You know what I mean? It's just, it's not as compression-y as the Revival leggings, but I feel like you don't need that for every workout anyways. So when it comes to the rise of these, these are considered, they're super high rise. They sit well over the belly button. Um, compared to the Revival leggings, they are way more high waisted. I love these. They really, I feel like the higher the waist, the more it accentuates the glutes, which is always a bonus. I feel like that's all us fitness girls strive to find. It's a good pair of leggings that makes booty look bomb and girl. These do. Another thing about the fit of these is these are about 7 eighths. These are considered to be a 7 eighths length. Um, they don't hit all the way to the bottom of the ankle, which is nice. Um, they base The reason they did it that way, they didn't want them to be as long as the Revival leggings because on the shorter gals, if they did have to bunch up the bottom, it just wouldn't look very cute. You know what I mean? So they kind of gave it that 7 eight, seven eighths cut to make sure it looked good on all heights, which is amazing in my book. But again, when it comes to these suckers in the gym, they are not known as gym wear. They are considered more of a comfort lifestyle piece, which is still really cool. Personally, I wear these in the gym all the time. They are fully squat proof. They aren't super sweat resistant, but they are sweat resistant enough to where you're not going to look like you have sweat spots all over you. I just love these in and out of the gym. I've been living in them. I highly recommend snagging one of these because they will go fast. I'll just do a little turn around for you guys in these love these so much and you will too i'm gonna throw on both the other colors just because i feel like um, okay so a lot of try on videos my least favorite thing is they don't try on every color in the video and i feel like when i watch a try on video i want to see how all the colors look on that specific person so i can tell if they're gonna look good on me as well so as annoying as it is to take on and off all these outfits and put new ones back on it's totally worth it because i feel like i'm hoping you guys get a better idea of what these are going to look like on you Next up. Alright guys, can we talk about how I'm currently living for this gray set right here? It is freaking beautiful. I love this color. It is so freaking cute. Sorry, I have to take a second to look at it in the mirror. I've only gotten to wear it a couple times. It just doesn't get old, man. But I did realize I didn't do a squat test on the last set. So I wanted to jump on here and do a quick squat test in these ones since they're the lightest color. Anyways, just to show you guys that these are indeed squat proof. Okay? Alright, now on to the black. This is such a beautiful set as well. Super simple, sleek, cute. I like it. All I wear is black so I feel very comfortable in this one. I feel like I could wear this out with friends, around the house. I don't know man. Anything black I wear all the time. It's just easy to just throw one together. It's great, mix and matchy. But yeah, that's going to be the three colors of the cross match sets. Now I'm going to move on to the cross bra. Alright, this is the beautiful cross bra. They are restocking these actually, I believe for the second time. Yeah, I believe so. But they are restocking these tomorrow in black, white, mauve, and sage. All beautiful colors. I wish I got all the other colors. This is the only color I have, unfortunately. Um, I was kind of uh, hesitant to get these just because I'm not busty whatsoever. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to fill them out because I feel like all the other girls I saw these on were very busty and I'm the opposite. But girls, let me tell you, these are the most flattering sports bras no matter what size boobs you have, okay? I absolutely love the back. The detailing is just amazing and I feel like you can really manipulate the way this fits due to the adjustability on the straps up here on the shoulder as well as the fact that it has like a bra style clasp in the back with three settings. Um, that's always a bonus. So 
but yeah I love this bra I would say it provides like a medium support it's not over the top support but it's also not no support it gives you just the right amount of support I feel like it really just like gives a touch of girliness to every gym outfit it just really kind of dresses me up a little bit I find I've been reaching for this black sports bra more than all my other sports bras because when I wear it I just feel so feminine and I don't know I just really like it it's pretty cool highly recommend I may or may not be snagging these in the other three colors tomorrow all right, and the last item we are going to talk about, what you have all been waiting for, I'm not going to put them on though because that's awkward, are the new seamless underwear. These are freaking phenomenal. They are coming in this beautiful red, black, which is an essential staple, and this beautiful blue color that I have yet to wear, which is a bonus because I am going to open these up and show you the cut of these bad boys. Okay. So they have a decently wide front, which is nice, so it's not like riding up in the front. And the back is nice and narrow, not too much fabric on the back, so it doesn't feel like you have a wedgie. I feel like that's the worst when you have seamless underwear, when there's way too much fabric down the back and it looks like you have a wedgie through your pants. But I am seriously just obsessed with these guys. They are the softest thing I've ever put on my body. It literally feels like butter on your skin. You don't even know what's there. It literally feels like you're not wearing anything at all. And did I mention you can wear them under leggings without seeing any form of underwear line. That is unheard of. I can't tell you how many seamless underwear brands I have tried that were a complete failure under my leggings, okay? So these are just a miracle and I'm so excited. And for all you ladies out there that are terrified of having a camel toe in your leggings, these are great to help really like smooth out that area and it really like diminishes any possibility of you getting a camel toe. So I highly recommend copying a pair of these tomorrow because they are essential, at least to me, I love them. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this try on haul and review because I'm seriously so excited to make more of these in the future. They are so much fun to make. And yeah, if you guys did like today's video, be sure to drop it a thumbs up. Comment below with any feedback or requests you may have. And also subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on future content. But anyways, I love you guys so much. Peace out, and I will see you in the next video.